The horse racing kid is here handicapping the racing from Leopardstown Racecourse here on Monday. It is December the 26th, 2016. We're going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Leopardstown, the third and fifth race, or the 115 and the 220. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections from racetracks across the world and beyond. So let's get on to it um, uh, from today's action from Leopardstown. Great uh, racing in, uh, in Ireland and the UK this week. Really gonna get my uh, hand around. I really, you know, I think there's gonna be some money to be made there. Uh, so follow me all week here on YouTube for uh, selections from Leopardstown and from the UK also. Um, but uh, races three and five. The third race for stakes race I'll be looking at here from Leopardstown is the Knight Frank Juvenile Hurdle. It's a Grade Two here, going for a purse of forty-eight thousand five hundred dollars. That's an American currency, so don't get confused. It's hurdle for three-year-olds only. We have a field of 10 horses going two miles over the hurdle course, 3,200 meters ahead of them. And my top pick here, and I don't want to go with the favorite, but I have to in this spot, it's going to be the four horse. Um, hopefully I say this horse's name right. Um, if you watch these videos a lot, uh, I, I uh, mispronounce the horse's name left left and right uh, all the time. So, But this uh, four horses, Bap, Bapa Omi, Bap Omi, Bap Omi, Bay Pomi, Bay Pomi. Uh, it's the four horse uh, as my top pick, and uh, please con comment uh, uh, <laughs> and give me the right pronunciation. Um, uh, you know, uh, but uh, number four is gonna be my top pick. I'm gonna go four one eight in the tri cat or the trifecta wagering. Uh, but the f no, but number four here at nine to five, Ruby Walsh on this uh, Willie Mullins train three old gelding. Last time out, first start over the uh, hurdles in Ireland, a fairy house uh, in the Grade Three bar one racing juvenile hurdle. Horse from second by length. First start off of the left. This horse for a second place finish ran very well. Um, kept going. Um, I think second off off the layoff, this horse will be uh, peaking at the right time. Watch out for this horse to run a big one. Start before this horse was running in France. Um, last start came before the uh, left, uh, before the Ireland start came out uh, April the sixth at uh, Fountain Blue, uh, mile and uh, seven eighths in the juvenile hurdle. Horse won by seven lengths, and the horse was just jumping very well. You know, a very nice easy victory that day, and then first career start going a mile, and, um, uh, 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 excuse me, uh, first career start came at, um, uh, at Ames in, uh, March 13th in France, uh, two miles and a, uh, eighth in a hurdle race, horse finished six by three lengths, it was, it was, uh, just not this horse's day to, uh, to win, just really eased out of it, um, just wasn't this horse's race, um, but, um, you know, that, that maiden victory was very nice, his last second place finish at Ferry House was very nice, like I said, I think this horse will be peaking at the right time today, watch out for this one to run a very good one, so to recap my bets for the third race from Leopardstown, the 115 post time, it's Knight Frank Juvenile Hurdle, gonna go with the four horse here, gonna put this horse into a tri-cat or a trifecta wager, gonna go 4-1-8, 4 one eight, four, one, eight. so now let's get on to race number five from Leopardstown. The fifth race at 2.20 post time is the Racing Post Novice Chase Grade 1, purse $97,500, again American currency. It's a novice, a novice steeplechase here for four-year-olds and upwards. We'll have a field of seven horses going two miles and one-eighth over the steeplechase course. My top pick in this one will go to the two-horse here, number two, and I think I can pronounce this horse's name, Identity Thief. Um, I'm going to go 236 in the uh, Tri Cat. 236, but number two, ident Identity uh, Thief. A, uh, 8 to 5 here. BJ Cooper is on this one. Last time out, hasn't started since November the 20th at Punchestown in Ireland on a soft turf cut turf course, two miles over the steeplechase and the Ryan's cleaning um, Craddock's Town Novice Chase. This horse won uh, that day by length at 40 cents to the dollar was the favorite, ran like a favorite good, uh, should run and was getting eased up at the wire. It was just an all-around great victory over the uh, the chase course. And then his first uh, start over the steeplechase at Punchestown, October the 22nd and a beginner's chase. Horse won by 14 lengths another easy, easy victory, uh, you know, a very nice maiden victory over the, the chase, um, you know, he's been jumping well, this, his last two were very good, his last one, he probably could have won by more, but Cooper was just easing him up, um, I think this horse will be running a good one here today, um, but last season, this horse was running over the hurdles, horse, uh, finished second in the Punchers 10 champion hurdle, uh, back in April, uh, finished sixth in the, uh, at, at Shelton last year, in the, uh, the Shelton, uh, and St. James, or the Stan James, uh, champion hurdle, finished sixth by 19 lengths, just wasn't into it. Uh, finished second in last year's Reiner hurdle here at 
over the course at Leopardstown and at Newcastle, who uh, won the uh, Fighting Fifth Hurdle, uh, StanJames.com Fighting Fifth Hurdle by length, uh, by neck actually, and ran incredibly well. Um, I think this horse will have a good run here today, so watch out for this one to run a good one. So to recap my bets for race number five, the 220 from Leopardstown. It's the Racing Post Novice Chase. Gonna go with the two horse here, Identity Thief. Gonna do a trifecta here or a tri cat wager. Gonna go two three six two three six. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck everybody.